Greetings, town meeting members. I'm happy to share with you Rodenticide articles 18 and 77. I'm Elaine Crowder, town meeting member from Precinct 19, and my co proponent is K T Carrie Teal, Arlington resident. The ultimate goals of our Article 18 and 77 is that of protecting our newest Arlington wildlife resource, nesting bald eagles, and preventing repeats of the following unfortunate events. Down here in the right hand corner, last year's eaglet death from anticoagulant rodenticides. And across the top here, East Arlington's great squirrel break in. Squirrels breaking into bait boxes scattering the bait on lawns and munching away in a tree on the contents. Really, the only way to protect wildlife, our own health and that of our pets from exposures such as this is to reduce SCAR use everywhere in Arlington on private property and public town property. However, town meeting is constrained in accomplishing this goal. We can't simply create a bylaw that restricts poison use in Arlington. It's important for us to do so, however, because SCARs continue to threaten human health. The EPA's own health risk assessment shows risks of poisonings from SCARs are five times higher than from poisons that are non anticoagulants. So, the red line is SCARs and all the other poisons are at the bottom of the chart. We had a collaborative development process to develop a, uh, a strategy for dealing with the issues with manager's office, planning, board of health, and we have unanimous support from the conservation commission, sustainable Arlington and the select board. The select board suggested a way forward with special legislation and the Finance Committee, Article 18, uh, they said, has no financial impact in the current fiscal year. And next fiscal year. What Articles 18 and 77 are not is a complete poison ban in Arlington. They focus on second generation anticoagulant rodenticides, which have the highest risk of secondary poisonings. Other tools can remain in the arsenal if needed and desired. The two articles 18 and 77 work together to create a three pronged approach that phases out SCAR use everywhere in Arlington. We've got the first prong, encouraging SCAR alternatives in the private sphere. This article 18 is outward facing dealing with private property. The bylaw amendment provides for registering certified pesticide applicators and tracking SCAR use in town. It also promotes awareness of both the hazards of SCARs and the benefits of using alternatives through education. Prong two is the Article 77 resolution. It's inward facing. The purpose of this is to eliminate SCAR use in town and create an IPM policy. And the piece that does the heavy lifting everywhere in Arlington is the um, special legislation request that goes to the state legislature. So with these three prongs in place, we will have a complete solution that helps to protect our resources. As we've talked with residents in town, we have heard several questions that I want to share with you. These are ones that I'm happy to talk about. Why does this only focus on SCARs? Integrated pest management includes poisons in the arsenal. How does that get us to reduce SCAR use in town? What do I use if I can't use SCARs? What's this going to mean for me with my rodent problems? And 
What are other towns or states doing that want to restrict poisons? Our ask then is we, along with the select board, respectfully request town meeting support for this three-pronged approach to address the many dangers posed by the use of second gener generation anticoagulant for dentists. Thank you very much.